Hey what's good everyone, it's Yuni here and today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make your photos look professional or how to do a color correction on Android. So earlier this day I took this photo right here and I used an application called Retro. So the photo ends up looking pretty good, the dynamic range is just perfect, the autofocus is on point but the thing is the colors is really bad it looks so washed out and unprofessional so let's go ahead and turn this photo into a good looking professional photo so first thing i did import my photo as you can see on photoshop touch if you guys don't have photoshop touch the link will be down in description below let's start up by duplicating the layer which is the app that we just which is the photo sorry that we just imported and then let's go ahead now and give this photo a black and white filter just like this then hit on this end sign right here give it a fill and stroke effect make sure that you change the fill into noise effect just like this and go ahead to the color and change it to uh go to the amount sorry changes to two percent and then go ahead to the color and change it to wherever the content of your photo my photo contains on it a leaf so i'm going to go with green but for example if you have like a sea or water uh, like photo you can go ahead and go for blue but my content is like green there's leaves all around so I'm going to go with dark green and then go ahead go to the uh, blending option which should be right here and hit on overlay option so as you can see the photo will look like this so now once you guys are actually done with this you can go ahead now and just change the opacity because it looks so uh, kind of washed out so we are going to fix this by just changing the opacity to around 60 percent so that's looking pretty perfect and now let's go ahead and manage down the two photos just like this so for the next step let's go ahead now and give this photo a tint or a filter so the tint is just like this so go ahead now and change uh, the color tint into wherever the content is so once again the content of my photo is leaves so i'm going to go with dark green but if you have like a blue or sea or anything like related to uh, water you can go ahead to blue or if you have like a brick wall you can go ahead for orange just like this but my photo is like uh, it contains so many leaves so i'm going to go with green just like this and I'm going to decrease the uh, brightness so I'm going to make it a little bit dark just like that and then as you can see you can go ahead now go to the intensity and you can change it I will set it to around 14 and that looking pretty good so next up we're gonna go ahead and add some contrast but the, uh, the best way to add contrast for me is to go ahead and add curves so there's this option which called curves right over here you can go ahead and just press on it and it's going to give you something just like this so as you can see this line is going to allow you to change the brightness and the contrast of the photo you can go ahead and press on whatever you want on the line and it's going to uh, allow you to create a option point so you can go ahead and just create a bunch of option points and go ahead and just move them upwards or backwards and it's going to kind of change how the photo looks so you can go ahead and just cross your fingers and start creating your very own uh, just uh, points and go ahead and mess around with it until you have a perfect photo so i guess this is the best what i got as you can see right over here it's not looking too bad the contrast is a little bit high but you are going to be fixing that really soon so the next step you're gonna go ahead now and just go to the uh, option that's called color balance which from the name you can actually tell that it's going to help us to change or to balance between the uh, colors so you can go ahead now and change the red and green and blue channels and you're gonna go ahead and just change them until you feel that the photo looking a little bit natural a little bit uh, let's say warm not too green not too blue as you can see i'm going to make it just a little bit blue because the sky have to be blue and it should look like this i guess so you're gonna go ahead now and just try to make the photo looks as natural as possible and i guess this is the best options for me so now let's go ahead and go to this option which is levels and for the levels it's kind of similar so similar to a uh, color balance as you can see you can go ahead and change uh, the green and blue and the red channels how it looks like so i'm just going to just change them just like this so it's going to make your photo looks warmer or brighter or darker it really depends on the content of the photo now i can't tell you exactly the options that you have to just do but you're gonna go ahead now and just try to get the best option that fits your photo and you can go ahead now and go to the contour, contrast and brightness you can go ahead now and change them and it really depends on your photo again so you're gonna go ahead now and just change them just like this 
and I guess that's enough contrast for me. I'm going ahead now and just hit on the check mark. And yeah, that's looking pretty good. And then you can go ahead and go back to the color balance if you want. So I'm going to just go back and change them a little bit. So I think I'm going to change the red a little bit. And yeah, that's looking pretty good. And you can also go to the auto fix. So the auto fix actually ends up going to just change the whole photo. It's going to make the photo look so, so much better. If you go to the auto fix, Photoshop Touch will actually do the whole job for you or on fixing the, uh, the colors. So as you can see now, we have a really good sharp photo with a really good colors. So yeah. So let's go ahead to the before and after comparison. And as you can see right over here, the uh, before we just had this photo right over here, it looks really washed out. The filter look really bad and it doesn't look any just professional or natural. So as you can see after we have all the colors fixed, everything looks really good and sharp and everything looks kind of uh, more professional i guess i mean i really like the second photo which is the photo that we just got and as you can see right over here it's looking pretty sharp and sometimes you guys have to do some uh, kind of background replacement my friend sent me a photo of him and his friend and i ends up had to change the background to have a really good sharper photo or better photo so as you can see this is the second uh, photo or the the results of my color correction. And I think that's about it guys for this video. If you follow all the steps that I, I did tell you on this video, I'm pretty sure that you guys will have a better photos. And yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, go ahead and just drop a like down below. I will appreciate that. And also, guys, check my channel out because there is a lot of amazing and daily videos in there. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace out. <laughs>